Let me tell you a story. Mark James Robert Essex was born in Emporia, Kansas. He graduated high school and he attended Emporia State University for just one semester. He joined the United States Navy as a dental technician and was stationed in San Diego, where he said he was subjected to two years of ceaseless racial abuse. He was given a general discharge of unsuitability, citing character and behavior disorders. Now, after his discharge, he became involved with black liberation movements in San Francisco. And later he joined the New York Black Panthers. At the age of 23, while living in New Orleans, Mark James Robert Essex began targeting policemen. On New Year's Eve, Essex parked his car and went down Perdido Street, a block from the New Orleans Police Department. He hid in a parking lot across from the busy central lockup and used a five-shot Ruger Model 44, which is a 44 caliber semi-automatic carbine, to kill a 19-year-old police cadet. A police lieutenant was also wounded in that attack. Now, the cadet was black, although Essex said before he began shooting that he was only going to kill, quote unquote, just honkies. He also carried on his person that day a Colt 38 caliber revolver, which had its serial number scratched off of it. Mark James Robert Essex evaded being taken into custody by jumping a chain link fence and running across I-10, which is a highway in New Orleans, while setting off firecrackers as a diversion. He then ran into an area renowned for high crime and hostility toward police. And once there, Essex broke into a warehouse and a manufacturing plant. And upon entering the building, an alarm alerted police to a break-in at the business, as you would expect. And a dog unit with two officers responded to that call. When one officer went to get his German Shepherd out of the backseat of the squad car, Essex shot him in the back. Essex then started shooting up the car, shattering the windshield. The second officer then crawled across the front seat to the radio and called for backup. When the backup arrived, they sent two dogs into the building to search for Essex. But Essex had escaped again. Now, the first officer in that incident died of his injuries. One week later, Mark James Robert Essex shot a grocer with his 44 Magnum carbine and then carjacked a man as he sat in his Chevy outside his house. Essex then drove the stolen vehicle to the Howard Johnson's Hotel in downtown New Orleans. Gaining entry from a fire stairwell on the 18th floor, Essex startled three Howard Johnson's employees, all of whom were African-American. And Essex told them, not to worry, I'm only here to kill white people. Now, the employees promptly called the authorities. And in the hallway in front of room 1829, Essex found a vacationing couple from Virginia, a 27-year-old man and his wife enjoying a belated honeymoon. And after a struggle, Essex shot the man in the chest and shot his wife in the back of the head. Both of them died of their injuries. And inside their room, he soaked telephone books with lighter fluid and set them ablaze under the curtains. Essex dropped a Pan-African flag on the floor beside the bodies of the couple as he left. On the 11th floor, Essex shot his way into several rooms and set more fires. He shot and killed the hotel's assistant manager and general manager. The police and fire department quickly arrived on the scene. Two officers tried to use a fire truck's ladder to enter the building, but were shot at by Essex. A few minutes later, Essex shot and killed two New Orleans Police Department officers from his perch on the 18th floor. While trying to rescue trapped officers, a deputy superintendent was fatally shot in the spine by Essex. Seeing the story on television, a lieutenant general of the United States Marine Corps offered the use of a CH-46 military helicopter to assist the police officers. The helicopter was loaded with armed men and dispatched to the hotel. By this time, Essex had retreated up to the roof where he and the helicopter exchanged many rounds over many hours. And as nightfall came, Essex managed to hole himself up in a concrete cubicle that would protect protect him in the southeast corner of the roof as he stepped out once again into the open to fire again on the helicopter and after hitting the helicopter's transmission Essex was barraged with fatal gunfire from police sharpshooters on the roofs of adjacent buildings as well as by the automatic weapons aboard the helicopter an autopsy later revealed more than 200 gunshot wounds 
Jones. Now, before the attack, the television station WWL received a handwritten note from Essex, and it read, Africa greets you. On December 31st, at approximately 11 p.m., the downtown New Orleans Police Department will be attacked. Reason? Many. But the death of two innocent brothers will be avenged, and many others. P.S. Tell Pig... And then he gives the officer's name. He's referring to a police officer as a pig. And he gives his name. P.S. Tell Pig the felony action squad ain't shit. Now, after the smoke had cleared, a tally revealed that Mark James Robert Essex had shot 19 people, killing nine of them. Five of those nine killed were police officers. Five police officers killed. He wounded 13 others. New Orleans police later entered the residence of Essex and found the apartment completely covered from floor to ceiling with anti-white graffiti. The 23-year-old Mark James Robert Essex of 1973 is of the same consciousness as the 25-year-old Micah Xavier Johnson of today. The same Micah Xavier Johnson who executed five police officers in Dallas on July 7th during what by all accounts was an otherwise peaceful protest organized by Black Lives Matter activists in response to the Alton Sterling and Philando Castile executions at the hands of of police. So I resurrect brother Mark Essex's story to raise a question to my brothers and sisters. And here's the question. Are we passing time day after day, week after week, month after month, year after year, decade after decade? Or are we evolving? Are we passing time or are we evolving? Are you passing time or are you evolving? Am I just passing time or am I evolving?